Hello guys, welcome back. Today in this tutorial, I will tell you how you can easily develop user management system with PHP and MySQL. So guys, let's first check the demo of our project. Like you, you are seeing the screen here is the login page from where user can log in and there is a register page user can register and this is a login page and also there is a forget password page where user can reset their password if you got forgotten and also uh, their remember me option also uh, if user logged in then the logged in user can manage their profile like uh, edit password reset password edit their profile details it is so all uh, things related to user we will manage here in this project so let's first Let's check the uh, database. The database of this project actually here we have already created user management system database in which we have a one table user. Actually here we are going to manage users so the only one table we are using here user table. And the structure of the user table is in this uh, the ID, auto increment, primary, first name, last name, email, password, gender, male or female mobile number, designation, image, user image type, status, means active, pending or deleted, auth, auth token uh, that will be created uh, during the uh, user creation. So this is the database of this project. Uh, now let's we move to the code level. Here we have already created project. Project name is user management system. You can see here user management system with PHP and the file structure here is uh, you can see these are the php files like index php and other related php that require for this application and also there are some include uh, file like header footer and container common files and there is a class like config php config in which we are in this uh, config in the database connection like db connect here you are seeing the function db connect and can uh, passing the, the database connection details like local host, uh, username and db name db name uh, we have already saved uh, this is the db name user management system so here we are well, passing it to connect with the database and the other one is user class in which all methods are implemented related to user so this is the file structure so now we will start uh, implementing one by one so the first phase is a register phase. We actually, when user comes in on any website, any application, the first one is we allow user to register themselves. So here is a register phase. So we yes, we will see the here. This is the register phase. Here you are seeing uh, we have a, a register form. Here is the register form in which uh, there is a field like input text for first name, last name, and email password and also a register button so this is the complete form when this form uh, submitted that uh, the form submission is checked here it, it checked here in register method uh, the register method is uh, already uh, developed in we will check the class user class The user class, uh, there is a register method that's already created. So we will check. Actually here you will see that we are already using the user table that is created in user management system database. So here we will uh, checking the register method. Actually, the register method is this one so public function register method in which uh, we are checking the user file uh, port data like register and email then we are getting the details using the email checking if the user already exists or not if user already exists with that email then we display the message you already exist with this email address otherwise we are creating the auth token and then uh, inserting the user details into database when the details saved, then we have a auth token. Actually, the auth token that we already generated and saved in, into the user table. We will create a link. 
here we are creating a link for verifying the user like when any user register then we will verify that the uh, the registered user uh, registering themselves using the valid email address so the verify link will be sent like here this this will be the link with auth token and then the subject verify email to complete registration and the body uh, in the message and then the message verification email is sent to the user and the user registered with our token so actually this is a not a yet verify actually you can see their field like status so actually active pending deleted so the user uh, will be in pending status the status of the user is pending so when the user created like uh, when user created the email will be sent to the user and when user verify that then he will then the user will be able to log in then our next page will come the login page now uh, you can see that there is already registered user here like we will log in using this here yeah, admin at webdam.com so this is the email and the password is one two three and we log so now we are successfully logged in to the uh, to the system here so here is logout uh, link you are seeing uh, for lo logout the user and there is a menu like here webdan username and the profile so here is profile you can see the uh, user details uh, displaying here the user can also edit their detail like here edit button and then they can change the details here uh, also user can set their uh, new password and confirm for password from here so this is the user uh, details so user can manage themselves here also when log out actually here you forget your password the user can also pass your email address to reset their password so like passing an email so no account exists with entire email address actually so like we can uh, use this the password is sending sent please check your mailbox to reset actually now we have uh, checked the register functionality now we will see the login functionality actually here login functionality so the login functionality will be here we have a login page this is the login page here we have login page you can see this is the login page where we are input type text where we have a login id uh, we have means login email and then password and then the uh, button input uh, type checkbox uh, button for checkbox for remembering the password and also have a link uh, forget password and we have a login submit button and when the form is submitted the form is here uh, handled by user login method so now we will check the login method here here is the login method we are checking the post login post login id and login pass and then we will store these into the uh, cookies also generating the password and then we are here uh, ex executing a select query using the email id and password and also checking the status so here we are uh, login successful then we will if login is successful then we are storing the values into the cookies and also storing the sessions to uh, get the values on other page so this is the login functionality here like we, we will log in again here and then we have this index.php uh, we will check the index.php file here this one this is the welcome page here index.php file then we will check for profile so this is the account.php you can see account.php so is the, this is the account.php here you can see we are getting the user information using the user details method the user details method we can search here so 
This is user detail here we are getting the user details using the user ID, session user ID and get the associative array and return. The return array we will get here and then we will displaying the details here like this and the details will be displayed like here. Also when we click on edit account then the edit and this account.php file will be loaded. So here we will check this edit underscore account.php and here we are checking the if not update and update then we are edit account getting the message and displaying otherwise we are getting the user details again the user details it get using this method and then we will have a form here like edit form in which we are display first name last name email mobile all informations are here in form input fields like you, you can see there and then we click on some uh, save button the form values are saved the form values are saved from here you can see the uh, form is submitted here and the values are submitted here uh, is checking here not empty and update form click then edit account method is called you can see the edit account this one the edit account here we are checking the form password for updating the password if password field input is then password not updated otherwise password updated with the provided value then we are executing the update query to update the user details here and return the message so here you are seeing when the while you are saved the while uh, message are display like account details are saved so now after saving this uh, we can we have seen this then there is also reset form right uh, forget password forget underscore password we we see this file here so forget underscore file this one is uh, forget password.php in which we have a form and we have passing email address and submit button passing email when uh, email will be passed and submitted form is submitted then like form submitted then the password reset link is sent from here is generated actually the reset password reset password method is called here we will see this here is here is this password in which if email blank then we display the message please enter username or email to proceed with the password reset otherwise we have select query executed and then get the details to send the message and then we create the link here reset password and send email to click on to reset the password here so this is the functionality for resetting the password you can sing passing the auth token for validation and we have also some other features like remember me actually here we are so uh, checking this is to save the values into cookie for remembering the password actually we are saving this for remembering password and also we have files for logout here uh, unsetting the session variable like user id name and then redirecting to login.php and we have a menu uh, here dashboard my profile log logout and there is also like files like include file with container footer also we have a user 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 class have uh, other methods like save password here we also saving the password when password is reset In section here also like uh, uh, we can access the admin section here like uh, admin and login using this same this is the admin section guys uh, here you can see the admin uh, is login logged in and the user admin can manage their profile here also change their password this is for the admin users so this is the ad administrator total user 3 
total active user is displaying the status of the user management system like total pending user, total leader. Here is a list of users. You can see here is the listing the all. Uh, if there are two users, so all listing here. So user like one is uh, status deleted, inactive, and active. So there is a three users. The admin can also add new users here. Also can update the user details. Also can delete the user. So th th these functionality can uh, are managing here like uh, like total user getting here add user. The uh, new users are adding here for via admin. So the insert into uh, user table and also the functionality is for admin details, admin password, update user, all functionality handled here. And the uh, admin section, we can see the admin section files here. Here you can see there is a index.php for login page, and there is a logout menu profile on in which we are displaying the logged in admin profiles, and there is a change password for changing the admin password dashboard and then the actions file on which we are handling the actions by, performed by the administrator and also there is a file user list on user list um, we are displaying the list of all users so here we are using the data tables to uh, list the details so here you are seeing uh, this is loaded into the uh, jQuery data tables. So we are already including the file like jQuery data tables, JS, jQuery data tables, CSS. So all files are calling here. Also, here you, you are seeing we have this table for loading the data table records. And also we have usage.js in which we are making the Ajax request to load data to data tables like here. Uh, we have uh, initialize the data exactly data table and then we have accent accent.php with accent list users so we can see here actions in with like in here list user on accent list we are loading the calling the method get user list from the class user so we will say the user you, you are seeing this here already implemented this we are here getting the select query to get the user list and then we pass to the jQuery data tables as a JSON data that's required by the jQuery data tables and we are managing this. Same way, uh, there is also functionality like uh, update user, treat user. So all these functionalities are handled from, these are handling handled here from the these function like edit account reset account and then we have a save a password and then we have a delete user get user all the functionalities are handled from the message in issue.php so these are the function like you can see here get data there's a get, get number login status login admin login status so all the messages are implemented here so the functionalities you are saying this is the Actually, you are seeing the admin section here. So the admin user, the administrator user can manage the all users, can register new user, create their profile, delete them, and also approve and can change the status like my making make approval if the user is uh, pending. So this is the dashboard and the user list, and this is the front end here. So you can see the front end here this is a front end uh, here user can manage their own profile so this is the normal user login and that was the administrator user section so guys uh, you have seen it's a very interesting project uh, using PHP and MySQL you can try this at your end to enhance this and also implement in your upcoming PHP projects so guys, I, I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. So I don't forget to like and share this 
ट्यूटोरियल है आज तो सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल थैंक यू